Heavy Rain is a game based on uh, interactive storytelling. It's an adult experience based on emotions and it's an experience where uh, you make decisions and these decisions affect the story. So the game will feature four different characters that the player will control in turn. So it's not like you're gonna pick up one at the beginning and play the game several times with different characters. It's characters that you have to control in turn from one scene to another. So uh, we are going to reveal the, the new characters in the coming months until the game is released. But the, the character we reveal today is named Norman Jaden. He's a profiler working for the FBI and um, is investigating on the case of uh, serial murders by someone called the origami killer. This killer has a strange behavior because he kills people and he leaves an origami in their hand, no one knows why. All characters in the game have a link to uh, this main story. They have their own perspective, their own scenes, their own background, their own skills. Uh, their own strength and weaknesses, but each character is truly unique. Jaden has a specific device called ARI. ARI stands for Added Reality Interface. It's been developed by the Pentagon and uh, it's uh, glasses that uh, the character uh, can wear and that analyzes in his environment in real time. So, for example, if there are hidden traces of uh, blood or DNA or fingerprints or pheromones or whatever, uh, these glasses can analyze the environment and detect them and it comes with a glove. And the glove, if you touch the traces of blood on the ground, it will analyze the blood in real time and display the results on the glasses. So uh, it's, it's a very powerful de uh, device, in fact, because ARI can change what you see around you, it can add information, it can entirely change your environment, make this room, for example, look like a desert or a jungle or whatever you decide, the same way you would change your wallpaper on PC. This is not pre-rendered, the full game is entirely in real-time 3D, there's nothing pre-rendered and it's not about cutscenes, there are very few cutscenes, moments where you lose control on the character and it's not some kind of Dragon Slayer or whatever, uh, it's really you're in control of the character, you move him around, you explore, you dialogue, you interact with the environment, you actually really play all the time. There are a couple of action sequences that use this uh, QuickTime event interface that we call PAR because it's, I think it's quite different from what QuickTime events were, were at the time. Uh, we First of all, we integrated the symbol in 3D in the environment, uh, they are animated with the character you interact with and also we use all controls on the controller. We use the six axis motion sensor, the triggers, the buttons, the sticks and we really try to emulate the move of your character uh, on screen with what you're supposed to do with the controller. And it goes very fast, it's really fast paced and I think it gives a real sense of immersion. And we tested it with many type of gamers, non-gamers, casual gamers and we got very positive results. <laughs> 